Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30-minute bar-inspired strength and cardio interval workout. What you need today is yourself. That is it. You don't even need a mat unless you want that extra cushion. We will be standing the entire time. Today's focus is all about the lower body and the core. Now, lower body is the main focus. We will be using your core as a secondary muscle group to help with stabilization during those unilateral exercises. Now, we will be combining bar strength exercises with bar inspired cardio exercises. There will be some jumping in today's workout. However, if you wanna keep it low impact, Get rid of the jump. Just keep one foot on the ground the entire time. So here's how it's gonna go today. We have an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert section. The appetizer is the warm up. Five minute good old warm up just to get the body primed for what's to come. Then we have the main course, the meat and potatoes. We have a strength exercise. We're going to do that exercise for one minute. We're gonna divvy that up, 30 seconds slow tempo, 30 seconds normal tempo. After that minute is up, we're gonna pulse it out for 15 seconds. The pulse will always be at the hardest part of the movement. Once we feel like we can't go anymore, that's where we're gonna do 30 seconds of cardio. Now this cardio is explosive, it's powerful. Just try your best. After that 30 seconds is up, we go back to pulsing with a little twist. So that is two minutes of total work. After that two minutes is up, we're gonna get 15 seconds to just recover and appreciate what our body just did before going on to the next interval. Now, every interval will be slightly different today. However, if we're doing a unilateral exercise, meaning one side of the body, we're going to match it on the other side as well. If you have a weaker side, I suggest doing that side first. I will be cueing left side first, but if your right side is weaker, do that side first. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. After that main course, we're going right into the dessert section, which is our burnout round, and that is just the butt kicking round. It's going to be intense, rest, pause, if and when needed. Now, for the majority of the workout, we are moving to approximately 130 beats per minute. I am dubbing over what I am listening to, so it may be a little off, my apologies. But we're just gonna try our best. So 130 is what we're moving to. During the cardio section though, we're coming off beat. Just go at your own pace. You and I do not have to go at the same tempo, same speed, just explode, make every rep count there. Make this workout your own, rest, pause, if and when needed. Bar inspired interval strength, cardio, body weight only. You could do this with shoes, without shoes. Make it your own. Let's just get a good workout in. What do you say? Grab your stuff. I suggest water, some sort of hydration, a towel around as well. Y'all, let's get to work. 30 minutes, let's get going. We begin with our warm up. So start with a wide stance. We're just gonna work on some internal rotation of the hip, getting your body primed for what's to come. Again, this is all about lower body. So we're gonna warm up, get our core, start making that mind muscle connection to our core, which has got to be active and turned on to just add that little bit of extra stabilization. The more we keep this active, the more support we're gonna have in the back, which is what we need. Keep a nice neutral spine throughout, meaning rib cage stacked over the pelvis. Try not to tilt, tilt, try not to tuck. Keep everything stacked and aligned. All right, you ready to begin? We begin with internal rotations of the hips in three, two, one, let's go. It's in, go in. Cues are gonna be minimal today because I'm gonna be out of breath. Just wait, you'll understand, but I'm going to get you into the move and just give you any key points, the cliff note version of anything I, I see fit. We hold one side in three, two, one, hold this side, lean forward, go down for two, go up for two, down for two, go up for two. So we're in a Pilates style lunge, adding a little bit more hip flexion to get that glute fired up. Reverse lunge, same side. Let's go. Just tap. Just tap, try to use that back foot as little as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Turn to me, lateral lunge static. Do count, go down for two, feel that inner thigh drive you up. Internal rotation of the hip, this time in a sumo squat. Hold here, now we turn. Add a little pulse. We repeat, same thing, on the opposing side. Hold, lean forward, go down for two, go up for two. So slight hinge forward, we're still keeping a neutral spine, but feeling a little bit more in the glutes compared to the quads. Make that connection, feel your glute drive you up. Core stays tight. Upright, reverse lunge. lateral lunge turn towards me down for two then up for two Back to those internal rotations one last time. Last three, two, one. Big deep inhale up. Exhale down, straighten one leg. Rotate open, little stretch before. That was our appetizer. Now we're going to get into the main course, but first, take it to the other side. Enjoy this nice little recovery, because what's coming our way? It's gonna be tough, all right. Just shimmy side to side, hold. Opening up, big deep inhale. On the exhale, start to straighten the legs, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Give yourself a little sway side to side. Bring all swaying to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let it hang. Slight bend in the knees, root to rise. And let's begin. We start with a sumo squat. It's slow, four count. So it's down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. I want you to feel the muscles work during the, sorry, sorry about that. But I want you to feel the muscles work during that slow tempo. I'm gonna cue what muscles are working and I want you to just visualize the muscles squeezing you back up, all right? Slow doesn't mean easier. Slow is a chance for us to really engage that mind-muscle connection and get those muscles to fire. Sumo squat. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Go up, two, three, four, go down, two, three, squeeze the glutes, bring you up. Keep the tension as you go down. Squeeze, go up. Keep the tension. Squeeze it, go up. Two count down and up. Go down. 
for two, go up for two. We hold low and pulse. Let's go, 15 seconds. First cardio will be Frogger. So we're in this position, we add a jump. Come off beat, all right? 30 seconds, let's go. Pulse it, heels up in three, two, and one. Heels up, just pulse. Three, two, one, and recover. Shake it out. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Static lunges next. Left foot is forward. Right foot is back. Take it slow. It's down. Two, go up for two. Try to use that back leg as little as possible. The majority of the weight is in the left foot. Down, drive up with that left glute. Reverse lunge, normal tempo, let's go. Pulse it in three, two, one, little pulses. Next up, we have a power lunge. We're gonna drive that right hand towards the chest as we find air time. Let's go. We hold in, pulse in three, two, one. Heel goes up, left heel is up now, in pulse. Last three, two, one. Shake it out. Other side is next. It's coming in hot, y'all. Here we go, static lunge, right foot forward, left foot back, wide stance, it's down for two. Go up for two, feel that right glute, drive you up. Now right quad is working as well. Try to use that back foot as little as possible. Core stays active to help with the stabilization. Reverse lunge in three, two, one, let's go. Pulse it in three, two, one, little pulses.
Next up is that power lunge. Come off beat. Match what you did on the other side. Try to find air time under this right foot. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Pulse it in three, two, one. Right heel is up. Little pulses. Last three, two, and recover. Wow. Next step, we're going squat to calf raise. Toes face forward. It's down for two. Go up, squeeze the calves. Down, heels down, heels up. Down, drive it up, heels up. Switch to normal tempo. Let's go. Hold and pulse, 15 seconds. Dump squats are next. In three, two, and one. Golden pulse. Is it three, two, one? Pulse heels up. Little pulses. Three, two, and one. Fifteen seconds. Single leg RDL is next. Left foot ground. We take it down. Two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. Down. Two, three, four. Up. Two, three. This is a hip hinge motion. Hips back. Hips forward. Spine stays still. Don't let that spine go into flexion and extension. Keep it neutral. Two count. Let's go. Down for two. Up for two if needed. Use something with the opposing hand to help stabilize like a wall, like a chair. We hold in three, two, one. Just hold, square off the hips, pulse with this right leg. Standing leg is on fire. Now we're just adding the glute. Squeeze right glute, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We go back to normal tempo, two counts. Let's go. Shine in a 
got nothing to lose, I know the time is right. Let us light up the fuse. And I know what I know what I know. What we have that hold again in three, two, hold, square off the hips, arms reach long. Add the glutes. Squeeze right glute. Squeeze right. Come on, you got this. I know that standing leg is on fire. Last three, two, and recover. Shake it out. Here we go. Ground with the right foot. Focus on something in front of you. You don't have to look at me. Down, two, three, four, up. Two, three, four. At the bottom of this movement, we're creating a link along the glute and on the hamstring. Core stays tight throughout to help stabilize everything. Two count, let's go. It's down for two. Go up for two, down. Two, up, two again if needed. Use some support, wall or chair. We hold it right here. Square off the hips and pulse left glute. Go squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Normal tempo, two count, let's go. Hold it and pulse. Hold here, at arms. Create one nice long line from the fingertips to the heel. Squeeze left glute, squeeze, squeeze. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, first position. Plie squat. Heels and toes out. Nice and slow, four count. It's down, two, three, four. Go up, two, three, four. Go down, create the length. Squeeze it on the way up. This is great for those inner thighs. Limit the range of motion if needed. You do not have to go as low as me, but if you can, cool. If not, cool. This is your workout. Two count, down and up. Down for two, limit range of motion. Hold and pulse. Go low and pulse. Next up for our cardio, out and in squats. Out, then in. Land soft. Pulses are next. Heels up. Heels up. Pulse. Three, two, and wow. One, two more. 
your left side next. Static lateral lunge, slow two count. Up for two, down for two, up for two. Oh my goodness, everything's working here. We got your glutes. We got your inner thighs, your adductors, your quads. Hamstrings are working slightly too, as well as those calves. And of course, your core is staying active throughout. Here we go. Bring that leg in. We pulse it. Little pulses. Lean into it. Power lateral lunge. Let's go. It in three, two, one, this time, heel up. Three, two, and one. We got to match the other side, y'all. And then it's on to the dessert round. My favorite round, kinda. <laughs> Here we go, static lateral lunge, two count. Down for two, go up for two. Mind muscle connection. Squeeze on the way up. Squeeze on the way up. A lot of us have a hard time feeling our glutes. Place a hand on a glute, feel it squeeze. Feel it tense on the way up. Here we go, down, bring it up. Press off. Hold impulse right here. Lean into it. Come on, you got this. Put the body weight over that working leg. Power, lateral lunge. 30 seconds, let's do it. Last round of pulses. Hold it, heel up, heel up. Pulse it. Lean into it, come on. Lean into that discomfort. Don't back away from it, don't shy away. Come on, you got this. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Inhale up, exhale side bend. Inhale up, exhale side bend. Nice work. We're just gonna take it side to side real quick. We're not gonna perform any static stretches until we're done with this burnout round. Big deep inhale. Burnout round is next. Grab a drink first. We've made it to our dessert round, my favorite round, that cherry on top, the burnout round. All right, we have four exercises. We've done each exercise already. 
15 seconds per exercise, 15 seconds after each round. We got four rounds, y'all, so that's five minutes of work. That's it. One minute per exercise. Let's keep that in mind. All right, we have a power lunge on the left, power lunge on the right. Then we go to those out and in squats, followed by froggers. I'm gonna have the demo up in the corner. Not, a, probably no talking for me after round one. I'm gonna be out of breath, okay? So we're going to begin with a power lunge on your left. Get into position. I start the clock, come off beat. There's no beat. Go at your own pace in three, two, and one. 15 seconds. Drive that knee up. Find that power in the left leg. Swing and pump those arms. Land soft. Switch to the other side. Let's go. Out and in squats are next. Let's go. Froggers, let's go. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds to recover. We're doing that again. Left side first. Power lunge left side. Let's do it. Right side. Switch it. Squats are next. Let's go. Froggers, 15 seconds. And one. Two more rounds. Two minutes of work. That's it, y'all. Power lunge left side. Let's go. Right side. Switch it. Squat, in three, two, one, land soft. Froggers, 15 seconds, let's go. And one. Final round. Final round. We got this. I'm gonna face you for the power lunges. Left side, this is my left side. Let's go. Right side in three, two, and one. Out and in squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Frog 
Joggers, 15 seconds. Let's do it. We hold at the bottom in three, two, pulse. Heels up and pulse. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, heels down. And breathe. <laughs> wow. Nice work. Quarter turn. Knee down. Left stretch. You may want a mat now. Or a cushion for that. Knee. You can always keep it elevated if you don't have a mat, because I didn't tell you to get one. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take it back, hamstring stretch. My heart rate, not registering right now. That's what typically happens when I hit it, so I don't talk about it. Ooh, let's bring it up. Not up, but forward. Come into a little lizard. Let's let that foot sway off to the side. External rotation to the hip. Sway towards it. Wow. If you want, you can start to pump that right leg. If it feels good, you can start to hold it, then grab it and pull it. Stretching will be kept to a minimal, minimal, minimum today, but I will link some additional stretching below. Lower body focus, I have one solely for the hips that I love, release, let's do the other side. I think the hips is 15 minutes, I have one for low back. Look below in the description, they're lovely some of my favorites. I'll also link a ab video, nice little add on ab at the end of this, like your what's next video. I'll put one of those in there. That would be a nice add on to do. You don't have to do it because your core was working the whole time. But I love a little, little body weight abs at the end. That's what I typically do personally in my own practice. And let's take it forward. Wow. Rotate. Nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that's what matters most. You and I never have to get the same beat, same tempo. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. Make it your own. I always want you to get what you need out of this workout. All right. You and I are different. Everyone is so different. I cannot stress that enough. All right, so get what you need out of any workout. Play around with it. You don't like what I'm doing? Do something else. You do something else. Do a different exercise. I know a lot of people don't like mountain climbers. I'm like, do this instead. Replace it with that if you don't like it. I want you to leave this workout feeling good and proud, as you should be. All right, let's just uh, slide it on over and take it to the ground, shall we? We shall. Wow. Okay, internal rotation of the hip. Let's take it here. Oh yes, one of my favorites. Just visualize that hip spinning down. Take it up and over. Nice little QL stretch as well. Other side y'all, then we're gonna be done. This is bar inspired. This is by no means a bar workout. I'm not graceful like a ballet dancer. I combine a lot of bar, my bar experience and teaching with my strength teachings. It's a combination, it's, 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 it's my own. So, Laurie's world of bar, whatever that means. Bar inspired, it's fun. It was cardio, it was strength, it was power, endurance, all the things. And it was kind of fun. Weird kind of fun, because I like that burn. I like the challenge. What doesn't challenge us won't change us. Always run towards that burning sensation. Sometimes we got to come out of it. But when you feel that discomfort, lean into it. And that's what's going to get us stronger every single time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things your love and support means the absolute world to me. Thank you so, so, so much. Be sure to tag me in your posts and stories on IG. I love to see them. So please do it at Laurie Medkiff. And most importantly, y'all, remember, you rock. Have an amazing rest of the day.